All right, I am two students. Uh, this last CFU of the day is uh, a gotcha. All right, watch what happens here. So first thing you do is you should subtract 18 from both sides. Minus 18, minus 18, right? So then you have two absolute value, x minus 5 equals negative 8. All right. Now you want to get rid of the 2. It's tied by multiplication. So you divide both sides by 2. So when we isolate, we get x minus 5, absolute value of x minus 5, equals negative 4. Now I made this video before I get to see your CFU work, but I'm going to make an educated guess that a lot of you then broke this into two equations and you went x minus 5 equals negative 4 and x minus 5 equals 4 and you solved it and you got x values. I want you to check your answers. Substitute your answers back in and see if they work. They're not going to work. Because think about this. There's no value of x that you're going to be able to substitute in here and subtract 5 from it and then take the absolute value and get a negative number. It does not work. So this is it. You should have said no solution. Okay. Now for fun, again, that's the answer. We're done. For fun, let's let's go through and read the mistake. If you would have done x minus 5 equals negative 4, you would have added 5 to both sides. You would have had probably x equals 1. Let's test it. Let's, let's Let's check it, see if it works. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Absolute value of negative 4 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 18 is 26. Is 26 equal 10? Ah, no good. All right, let's see if you did it the other way. You went x minus 5 equals positive 4, right? And then you would have added 5 to both sides. You would have got x equals 9. Let's substitute that in. 9 minus 5 is 4. Absolute value of 4 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 18 is 26. Is 26 equal 10? Eh, no good. So if you get in the habit of checking your answers, even if you went blue by the stop sign here, and when you saw that absolute value equal negative 4, you should have stopped. If you, for some reason, forgot about that because you just get in the mode of just remember your steps and how to solve this, um, which is common, you should still catch your mistake here and then go, oh, yeah, there's no solution when the absolute value is isolated equal to a negative number. All right, I hope we had a good day. Again, I didn't expect you to master this all today. We're going to practice a lot more tomorrow. I want you to study your 3.1.1. I'm probably going to make a little quizzy quiz for you for tomorrow on that. Thank you. I hope it was a great day for you.